Hi, and welcome to another video from Mobile Network Comparison. Today we're looking at the benchmark test results from Samsung Galaxy S3 running the SlimCat ROM compared to stock TouchWiz. Okay, so as you can see, I'm going to show you that the left-hand phone, which is the Galaxy S3 in pebble grey, is running the custom ROM SlimCat, and this is Android version 4.4.4, which is Android KitKat, the current latest version currently out. And on the right, we've got an identical Galaxy S3, same spec, same processor, same GPU and everything, but this one is running the stock ROM, which is Samsung TouchWiz. And this is still stuck on Android version 4.3, which is Jelly Bean, because Samsung have decided that they're not going to bother pushing out an update for the S3 now it's a few years old. Both phones are running a completely fresh install. I've done a factory reset on both of them to ensure that they are identical and in pristine condition. And I've used the same APK file to manually install Antutu on both phones so that we're making sure that we're running exactly the same version, which is version 5.1. And so now I'm going to just go ahead and start the benchmark test at roughly the same time on both phones and we're going to see how they compare in terms of performance. So Antutu is the most used and probably the best benchmark tool available for Android. It runs a battery of tests that cover all aspects of the phone's hardware and software. So it looks at the various ways in which CPU affects performance. It looks at the GPU, the RAM, and also the disk and flash memory of the phone to produce a benchmark score, which is a relative measure of the performance of a particular handset. As usual, I'm just going to fast forward through the actual details of the test. You can see what's going on the screens now. The test begins with CPU and then moves on to RAM. And then finally, at the end, it tests the 2D and 3D graphics performance. As we mentioned earlier, these are both Samsung Galaxy S3 i9300 handsets. They both have exactly the same specifications because they have a quad-core 1.4 GHz Cortex-A9 processor coming from the Exynos 4412 quad system on a chip chipset. They both have a Mali 400 MP4 GPU and they're both running Android. The only major difference is of course as we mentioned earlier that the SlimCat ROM is running Android KitKat, whereas Samsung TouchWiz has a slightly older version of Android, which is Jelly Bean. You may also have spotted that SlimCat actually comes by default at a much higher resolution, or I should say with the, with the text size and font size a lot smaller, fitting a lot more information on the screen. But the graphics tests both run at the native resolution of the screen, which is 1280 by 720 so 720p. So it's looking like we're coming to the final parts of the benchmark test on both phones now and the TouchWiz device has finished just before the SlimCat device. Let's go and scroll down and have a look at the scores. So SlimCat scored 23,157 and it was beaten by again a fairly significant margin by TouchWiz with 23,726. So we're looking at about a 500-600 point difference between the two devices. If you saw our benchmark comparison between CyanogenMod Mods 11 and Samsung TouchWiz, you would have known that TouchWiz again beat the custom ROM in the benchmark test actually by almost twice as much. This is only about a 2.5% increase for TouchWiz, whereas that was more like 5%. And if we drill down into the details, you'll see that TouchWiz was much better in multitasking with Android 4.3, RAM speed and the storage input-output, where SlimCat absolutely dominated in 3D graphics, everything else was more or less exactly the same. Overall, we would have to say that this difference isn't really significant, it's kind of so small it could be within the margin for error. We hope this made it clear that installing ROMs can't really boost the speed of your phone as it is that much. So please drop us a like if you enjoyed and found it useful, and leave a comment letting us know what sort of videos you want to see coming up next from our channel. Thanks for watching.